As the market for plug-in thermal cameras for smartphones continues to grow, the Thermal Master P2 positioned itself as one of the world's smallest cameras. Weighing just 10 grams, this compact device combines impressive features with an affordable price tag. It's smaller than many USB drives and easily fits in its included hard case. The case itself looks beautiful and durable at the same time, so you can carry it easily in a toolbox or even a pocket. Its minimalist design is matched by its simplicity of use. You can just install the app on your Android phone, plug the camera to the USB-C port, and you're ready to go. Just make sure to install the right app. There is a Thermal Master app on the Google Play Store, but that doesn't work with the P2. You will need to install the Temp Master app. My only concern is that the app requests access to storage and location data, permissions that seem unnecessary for operating a thermal imaging camera. Notably, the camera uses a USB-C port, but it is not compatible with iOS devices. Once connected, the app provides instant thermal imaging capabilities. The camera boasts a native resolution of 256 by 192 pixels, which can be enhanced through software to 512 by 384 pixels using the Razer XAI algorithm. While the enhancement improves sharpness, it creates a watercolor-like effect, making the images look less natural. Through its app, the P2 offers a wide range of options. Users can adjust the color palette to customize thermal maps and use tools such as temperature points, lines, and area measurements to better analyze heat data. Despite its strengths, the camera has limitations. The app leaves much to be desired. Basic features like automatically tracking the hottest and coldest points in the thermal image are absent, forcing users to manually identify temperature extremes. Besides, the app's interface struggles with usability. Text fails to orient correctly in landscape mode. Another inconvenience is the need to re-enable the temperature scale every time the app is launched, a setting that should ideally be persistent. The app also suffers from a recurring technical issue where a frame freezes and becomes superimposed on the live thermal display. This glitch does not resolve on its own and I often have to tap on the calibrate button to fix it. When compared to the Fleur One Pro, the Thermal Master P2 emerges as a strong competitor, but serves slightly different user needs. The P2's compact size makes it far more portable than the Fleur One Pro. Moreover, the P2 is powered by your phone, so you never have to worry about battery life. On the other hand, the Flare One Pro includes a height adjustable connector, making it compatible with more phone cases, whereas the P2 often requires the removal of a thick case or the use of an extension cable for a proper connection. In terms of performance, the P2 has a higher native resolution. However, the Flare One Pro compensates with MSX technology, which overlays visible details onto thermal images, providing greater context and clarity. The P2 relies on its Razer XAI algorithm for resolution enhancement, which improves sharpness but does not add real-world details. The software ecosystem also sets the two devices apart. Thermal Master P2 supports Android only. The P2's app, while functional and easy to use, is simpler in comparison, focusing more on basic analysis and reporting. Price is another differentiating factor. The P2 is significantly more affordable than the Fleer One Pro, which retails for approximately $400. This makes the P2 a good choice for users on a budget who still require high-quality thermal imaging. Overall, the P2 
is a good value for its price. This is a practical tool for Android users seeking to add thermal imaging capabilities to their toolkit. If you find the video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.